it should be all right. Anyway. So, Terry, the, that whole yeah. thing of self-referencing thoughts mm. is huge. I mean, it's, it's like so multidimensional. Yeah, but, but who cares? Mm. That's a question. Who cares? Who cares? Well, it cares about itself. <laughs> yeah, but there's not a self there. It's just thoughts. Yeah. It's just all thoughts. It's just a story. I can see that. There's some that's um and that is a a valuing of certain thoughts, I suppose. <laughs> it's one way to look at it. Yeah, good. And what would be valuing certain thoughts? Other thoughts. Other thoughts. Just other thoughts. Tell me I'm mm. wrong. Mm. Tell me I'm wrong. Mm. Yeah. Your mind at the moment creates David. Let me ask you this. I don't know how long you guys have been in a relationship, but is David who you think David is, Susan? No, David is life. You don't know. You don't no, know. I don't know. Exactly. Good. But you believe you're in a relationship with David. It's a social construct. Thoughts are in a relationship with themselves. Dual. Yeah? It's your thoughts that's creating David. The idea of David. And David's doing the same about you. Mm. Exactly the same. And both of you know, yeah, from your own standpoint, you're not who each other thinks each other is. You know it. That's why there can be so much strife in relationships. No, that's not what I'm thinking. No, I don't mean that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm making it up, right? But yeah, yeah. And then there's conflict. Yeah. If two people come together, they fall in love. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but before you fall in love, madly, madly in love with the person. Let's say it's your, your first encounter with them. Yeah, it's one of those occasions where you meet and you end up sitting up all night and you're just talking and laughing and talking and laughing. Yeah, and there's there's obviously something happening. Yeah, mm. we generally call that falling in love. Yeah, yeah. Now, during that period, I don't know if you've noticed, you don't care where they've been, what they've done, what they do for a living, whether they've got brothers or sisters or what political bent they are or whether they're religious or not religious, spiritual or not spiritual, all that's out the window. Yeah? Mm. There, there, that's two beings experiencing love. The being is experiencing love. Then what happens? Yeah, this is pretty good, and you come together, and six months down the track, you want to tear each other's eyes out. Why? Why? <laughs> because all the, the mental patterns come back in. Yeah. If I could just tweak this little thing here about David, he'd be awesome. 
David might be going, if I could just tweak this, if I just get her to change this little thing here, she'd be awesome. But she was already awesome. David was already awesome. Already. Until the mind steps in and starts evaluating dualistic thoughts, yeah? Mm. And the relationship changes. So it's mind in relationship with another mind. Mm. But really what's happening, yeah, it's mind in relationship with itself and mind in relationship with itself. That's what's really happening. Mm. Yeah? Because this mind here says, I know David. I know exactly what David is. This one here says, I know Susan. I know exactly who Susan is. And both of them are false. Both of them are not real. Both of them are not real. It's the being, this being here, the two of you, this being here, consciousness, awareness here. Why are we more interested in the mind instead of this? Where do we live? Here. Where do we experience? Here. Where do we see from? Here. 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 <laughs> here from. Here. <laughs> here. This is where we live. But where do we ordinarily live? In the mind. And everyone's doing it. Yeah. Everyone's doing it. Yeah. That's the value of this particular inquiry is to come to see the truth of what's actually happening and stop living there. Discover that that you actually are as opposed to taking that that you think you are. Not only, Susan, do you have a story about David? There's a story there about Susan. And same with David. Well, lots There's of them. <laughs> Yeah. Now, which which particular thought are you? How many me's are there? Mm. Happy me, a sad me, a grieving me, an angry me. I mean, how many me's are there? Mm. If I asked you how many of you are there, intuitively you'd say one. Mm. Intuitively you know one. Okay, which one? If you're taking mm. yourself to be the me character, which one are you? Because it constantly changes you. All by itself, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it certainly doesn't seem like I can actually do anything about it. You don't have to. Just stop caring about it. Mm, okay. as, as, as Bob would say, just don't go there. The answer's not in the mind. A dollar for every time I heard him say that since 1985 when I met him. A dollar for every time I heard him say that, I'd be very wealthy. <laughs> Just don't go there. The thoughts aren't about you. And the thoughts aren't about David. Thoughts are about the thoughts. The story is about the story. Until the interest shifts away from the mind, mm. do just hear, yeah, until that happens, all we've been doing is discovering what we're not. Mm. I wouldn't call that inquiring into who we actually are, would you? No. The inquiring into who and what we actually are starts when we stop going here to mind and start exploring this. Mm. What's this? What's happening here? Mm. Yeah. And, and an amazing thing happens when that starts to happen, the mind quietens down mm. all by itself. You don't have to tame it. You don't have to stop it. You, you can't anyway. You know? The one thing that fuels mind is attention. Yeah. That's the fuel. Mm. That's the fuel. Attention. Yeah, I, I can see that's what's happening. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Now, Bring the attention to here. You want to fuel this? You want to raise your level of consciousness, your consciousness and your, and your awareness? Bring it here. Away from that to here. What's this? Yeah. But that question, what's this, is only meaningful when you, you absolutely don't... when you absolutely know what you're not. 
Mm. Otherwise, it's not meaningful. Mm. You go, what's this? Well, it's me. No. Mm. No. Yeah. That the what's this? It's a it's a jaw dropping rhetorical question. Mm. What's this? That occurs when you finally fully understand what you're not. Because then you're just left with this. Holy shit. Knowing full well, full well in an absolute sense, there is no Susan here. David here. You got to see what the Susan character is and what the David character is and what produces it. And in the absence of that that produces it, Susan and David disappear. But there's something still sitting here. And this something that's still sitting here, here's the irony and the paradox. This something that's still sitting here is what the David and Susan character are trying to find. Yeah, the thing you said right at the beginning, just that um, that thing of um, thinking that this is a Susan, and actually, that's just a misidentification. Yeah. When you know what a Susan is, this mm. can't be Susan. It can't be. Yeah. It can't be. And you have to know why it can't be. Really, absolutely know why it can't be. Mm. Mm. The absence of thought, Susan disappears. Susan is a product of thoughts, which is just words, symbols, labels. Yeah? Mm. They create a Susan and a David, for that matter, and a me. You're sitting there at the moment creating a me. Here, mm. This. You're creating this. You have ideas, no doubt, going on in there mm -hmm. about who you think this is. Guarantee mm -hmm. it. Guarantee it. Not guilty. I'm none of what you think I am. <laughs> I'm none of that. That's happening there. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> you know that when you two get into a tiff, yeah? And, going, oh, yeah, but, you know, and David might be going, no, I don't. Not at all. That's not what's happening at all. That's not what's happening. And, and you could reverse it as well. Yeah. Imposing our mind on someone else, our thoughts on someone mm. else. It's the height of arrogance. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know who you are. I <laughs> don't even know who you are. <laughs> I don't know who the other person is. You know what I mean? It's mm. funny. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's humor. When you start to see this, it's quite humorous how we operate and how we've been operating. <laughs> this that you're looking for, Susan, is self revealing. It reveals itself. Nothing to do with a Susan at all. Zero. How does it reveal itself? When this, that does reveal itself, stops taking the mind to be what it is. Mm. It's not Susan taking the mind to be what it is. Yeah? No. Susan is a construct of the Susan mind. Susan is the construct of the mind. Good. Which is totally, I mean, even though thoughts obviously are a form of energy, they're dead in a certain way they're well look they're pretty fucking magnificent actually mm. there's an intelligence behind thoughts yeah right when you when it when you realize you're not the thinker it begs the question doesn't it well who the hell's the thinker of these thoughts i mean sometimes they're wacky thoughts right yeah but there's an yeah, intelligence but... behind them too it, it, mm -hmm. It's a good tool. Who's, who's the thinker? 
Well, it's not me. No. No, there's no you. <laughs> there's no there's me no there. Me. Yeah. There's no me there. You know, well, mm. when you when it dawns on you that all thoughts just happen by none, all thoughts, including the thoughts that just happen and the apparent me character and the personal thoughts, right? All that, that's just all happening, right? Mm. All of that is just happening. When you know that for a fact, you see that that's happening in every other human being on the planet. There's 8 billion of us. And in every person, thoughts are just happening. What's the source of all that? Because there's an intelligence behind it. Yeah. What the hell's the yeah. source? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's what people have called God, but it's really yeah. a name put on who the fuck knows what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it gets given all sorts of names, doesn't it? Consciousness, or it's yeah. awareness. You know? It's an intelligence energy, which is the one Bob uses. Intelligence yeah. energy. I like that one. I like the yeah. intelligence. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but it's, it's no more pertinent than any other label. It's just mm. a label. Mm. Just a label. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What's beating your heart right now? Something is. What's breathing you right now? Something is. We can't say it's nothing happening. That's crazy shit. Yeah? Crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. I would say there's no thing happening, but I would never say there's nothing happening. That's insane. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. Or some people call this emptiness. It's full as. It's full. You couldn't get any fuller. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's empty when the mind stops creating it. Yeah. But the, the, the potential, everything is still there. The aliveness, the awareness, the consciousness, the being, it's there. Just this isn't labeling it anything anymore. That's all. Like, you cannot sit there with a straight face and say to me, I am not. No. You'd have to be there to say, I am not. <laughs> yeah. I am. Two words. I am. Am both labels, both yeah. pointers. What are those two words pointing to? Well, where am I? Amming here. Yeah. Here. Mm. Now we don't know what this is. We've mistaken it to be Susan or David or Terence. We've mistaken it to be that. Mistaken it. <laughs> hmm. I am. That was the that was the the, the pointer that Nasagadatta was given. Stay yeah. with the I am. That's all he was given, Susan. Yeah, Think about I know. That. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. He wasn't a learned man. Hmm. Yeah. He just bloody sell cigarettes on the side of the road. He used to roll cigarettes out of tobacco and sell cigarettes. That was his job. Yeah. Went to his teacher. His teacher just said, stay with the I am. Okay. And he just, he did that to the best of his ability. Stayed with the I am. Explored the I am. Okay. The rest was periphery. Thoughts and a feeling and you know, everything out there. That was all periphery. I am. Stayed with that. Yeah. But... If you're going to stay with the I am, assuming it's Susan, you're in trouble. Mm, no point. Yeah. No point. Yeah. That'd be a mistake straight away. Mm. Yeah. This me that, that you currently have, Susan, I shouldn't even be calling you Susan, but <laughs> this me that you currently have was put there. 
If you were born in China, It'd all your very... internal dialogue would be Chinese. Mm. You wouldn't be Susan. Mm. Your surname might be Ling. <laughs> First name, I don't know. Chow. Yeah. Now imagine, given that I've said that, imagine all your internal dialogue all of it when i snap my fingers it all turns to chinese now what's happening a sense of relief <laughs> even that thought a sense of relief would be in chinese mm. so now what's happening All internal, all internal thoughts are now in Chinese. Now what's happening? Would there be a Susan sitting there? No. No. Would you be able to identify anything? Would you know that that was a tree? <laughs> <laughs> 